It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you top bottom up low it does not matter this guy is a dominant striker one of the best kickboxers the ufc has ever seen and in terms of the punching technique and the jab as good as anyone in this division ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon dan bergliata This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. All right, green the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to the corners, not fight. Up as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Throw those knees. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. 
No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. All right, single collar tie now. Lee's kick is blocked. Good punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the toe. Right hook to the body. Slips the punch. Superman punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Left hand punch in the clinch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Spinning back fist. Left hand punch from the clinch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice elbow. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch, Lynn. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick, Lynn. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he gives up his back here, DC. That's something that you almost never would do. No, you gotta try not to give up your back, especially on a guy that's this good with the top control from the back position. No one just has that many rear naked choke victories without a great understanding of the position. He has to understand this, and he believes that he's the best back taker in the entire world, right. and he has an opportunity right now to show that. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Five minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. This next round, you really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. I want you to maintain the dominant. Ready? 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 All right, round two. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. 
Huge block there. Oh, single collar tie here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Try to establish that jab. And they separate. Great punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, huge block! Nice, sneaky head kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Goes to the body there. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, the Destroyer. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.